morning everybody this is uh, I'm gonna do a little video on this uh, Frankfurt Arsenal cartridge overall length gauge I searched on the internet and I really didn't find a, a video that pertained to this particular product there's one for the Hornaday and a couple other brands but uh, this one's a little bit different so I thought I'd uh, do one on this uh, a couple people are asking about about this so it lets you get your uh, chamber length so you know how deep to seat your bullets when you're reloading um, for uh, the minimal amount of jump from the bullet to the uh, rifling so anyway this is uh, again Frankfurt Arsenal reloading tools um, I'm gonna be doing I have a uh, uh, 22 Hornet uh, H&R And uh, the single shot probably is one of the easiest ones to do. Single shot and bolt action are very easy to do. I, I've never tried one on a semi-automatic. It'd be tough to get the bullet into the chamber for the last step. But I guess if uh, there's a will, there's a way. But I'm going to shut this off and get the tools out of the package and turn it back on. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, so here's what comes in the uh, comes in the kit. You get um, these two blue uh, measurement points uh, with the little white nuts that come separately. And you get three tips. Um, and I got the one screwed into the end of my uh, that kind of matches my bore. You get a little bit bigger one if you're doing like a 30 odd six or something like that. But the only thing else you need besides this these couple little plastic pieces is a uh, a standard cleaning rod, um, and then uh, you'll need the, the projectile that you're going to measure um, the chamber depth with. And every time you change your projectile, even if they look similar, you really want to redo um, this measurement for your chamber because the uh, they call it the ogive or ogive or whatever. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but the the taper of the, the front of the bullet is different from every manufacturer and just that little bit of difference uh, can make the point stick farther or, or less into your chamber so that's what we're measuring for here is to get this point get this uh, the big part of the bullet as close to the rifling as possible without it touching um, and that'll give you a, a better uh, consistency for your bullet to jump uh, in from the mouth of the case into the rifling and down the barrel. So now we take our uh, our cleaning rod and uh, I've already made sure the rifle's clear and uh, no um, so you push the cleaning rod all the way in until you hit the, the back of you know what would be the bolt face. This is the whole receiver here on the single shot but on the uh, let's say a bolt action or whatever it would be the, the bolt face and you take one of your your little blue measurement deals and uh, you clip this onto the uh, right by the muzzle and you uh, tighten up here a little bit um, and make sure you're all the way against the bolt face and so the first one it's going to be kind of your pointier bullet. Um, you want to make sure you have the the blue thing with the tab facing away, and there's a little V on it. You want the V going towards the gun, because what what will happen later is once we make the get these two pieces on there, you could actually lay your bullet into that V, and if you kept this together, you'd be able to tell if you're long enough or way too short or whatever for this chamber depth. Um, so now I pull, pull this out at least far enough to, uh, be able to, uh, what I need to do now, I'm going to do this with one hand here. I have to crack the chamber open on this. I'll set this off to the side. I got that balance pretty good. Um, so now I got that pulled back out of my chamber. I want to take my, my projectile and put it into the chamber and uh, 
I just use it for for this one. It's small, uh, big enough. I can use a Phillips head screwdriver to push that up into the chamber, and it only has to go up in the you know an inch and a half with the 22 Hornet. So I leave that screwdriver there to hold that in place. Because um, now the next step is I'm going to go back to my muzzle. I'm going to push the thing in until I come against the the bullet. just touched it if I push it in a little bit and then I go back to the other end and and re push on the Phillips head until it contacts the grooves um, I find that works the best to give you the true measurement now I'm going to take my last blue piece here and that one has to clip on to the The rod and it faces the opposite direction so now what we'd be able to do is I could take a factory one just to show you how it works Now we could take, and my chamber is quite a bit, quite a bit deeper than the factory, uh, factory ammo, as you can see, at least for that bullet. Um, it's gonna be tough to actually probably seat that uh, to get a. But at least I know what I'm what I'm up against here, so. Um, So when we were doing my measurement there, you could see that the, the stock bullet here, or whatever you want to call it, the soft point, was quite a bit shorter than what I measured with my, uh, my case depth gauge here. But um, I put them side by side, you can see that, that that bullet's probably a good quarter inch longer um, with that uh, plastic point in there and, and all that. Even the, without the plastic point, it's longer than the than the soft point in there. Um, so these ones are actually 45 grain soft points. Um, these ones that I'm measuring for are a 40 grain uh, with the uh, ballistic tip in them. Um, should give me a little bit more speed. Uh, hopefully work pretty good uh, with my twist rate on my barrel. So. Okay, so now the last piece here with my uh, My uh, gauge here is now I've got my two blue pieces here uh, attached to my rod. Straighten that one out a little bit, maybe just so it's on me. So they sit next to each other. So, let's see if I can do this with the uh, take your caliper, make sure it's zeroed out, and uh, you just measure the space between these two blue do with one hand. Measure the space between these two blue pieces here. So we end up with a length of one point eight seven nine. One point eight seven nine. So that would be uh, the entire length from the back of the bolt face to the rifling. And you don't want your bullets to be exactly. So they, I've read anywhere from 30 to 40 thousandths. Um, I've done them 20 thousandths. Doesn't seem to really make a difference, that much difference. Um, but you want to take about uh, 20 to 40 thousandths off from that um, that measurement and that's what you want your seating depth to be just uh, as a comparison my my stock bullet just like I just showed you a minute ago with the two with the uh, new bullet sitting next to it um, I am uh, uh, 1.8 
0.715. So just a little over a tenth of an inch longer. Uh, <clears throat> so it shows you that the difference. Now this one probably would come close to the, the rifling, but but not nearly as good as a, a reloaded uh, one with this chamber measurement done already. So that's how you do it. Um, again, this is the, the Frankfurt Arsenal kit. Um, there's a, a couple of different ones. Hornaday has one, but obviously it's a lot more expensive. And uh, it's made with, like, I think aluminum pieces instead of plastic. But this gets the job done, and that's all that really matters. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.